What's up, everybody? Um, hello, welcome to Jamie and Julia, and today we're cooking out of this one, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 1. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. Okay, I really wanted something healthy out of this cookbook today, and you know what I wanted? Just like a good vegetable soup. So that's what I found here. Soup au pistou, Provencal vegetable soup with garlic, basil, and herbs. That's what my body needs today. Early summer is the Mediterranean season for soup au pistou. Uh, not a good start since it's the beginning of January. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And the market woman shouts in the streets, Madame, fais la bon piste. Fais la pistou. A sauce made of garlic, basil, tomato, and cheese. Fortunately, uh, the soup is not confined to summer and fresh vegetables. Uh, you can use like canned beans and tinned yada yada and uh, I'm good. So um, yeah, it's great because I don't have all fresh vegetables. I'm using a little mix of both. So uh, we're in the clear, we can make it now. This is what's going on here. I need half a pound of each, carrots, celery, potatoes, and onions, all diced up. All right, now check this out. Oh yeah. Trying to figure out what the quickest way to dice a potato is. I think it's like, put it on flat like that. Cut it into slices, like this. Maybe slice it one more time. There, done, there. And stack it up. For the most part, I think that worked nicely. That's 950 grams of everything equally split up. And then there's the remainder that I cut up that I need to save for a rainy day. Half a pound of fresh white beans, if available. Um, well, I have these. These are um, canned white beans. They were available and they were fresh at one point. So I'm gonna use this. There's no tab on this. Ah, oh, God damn it. I hate it when the can opener doesn't like open the way you want it to. Got to get a fork. Yeah, uh, 200 and what is it? This doesn't make any sense what I'm doing because this, all right, damn it. So 200 and something, yeah. Okay, so like that, if I take Okay, you're making a goddamn mess. Wash the aquafaba stuff off the beans. That's what I'm doing. And then race them back over here. Okay, so here we go. So white cannellini beans. That's an equal amount of all this stuff. The vegetables and the beans. Are beans vegetables? Uh, legumes. Get the biggest pot you got to load up your pot with water. Five pipes is 2,365.88 milliliters. Tablespoon of salt into that. Vegetables go in, as well as the legumes. Onto the heat, high heat. Since these are canned beans, I don't think I should have added them in so soon. That's my mistake. These beans are already soft, so I thought it was the right call to painstakingly remove them one by one. The job's done, so uh, nothing to worry about. And once I got that to a boil, I'm gonna turn the heat down. 40 minutes. One ounce, around 35 grams of, this is uh, spaghetti, broken spaghetti. Oh, that's fun. One pound is 16 ounces. Right. Why well, can't I remember that? 16 ounces, so half is eight. 230 grams of French green beans. Dice these up. Just your everyday, ordinary, stale piece of white bread uh, crumbled up. 
saffron threads. So it's just gonna be added into this big bowl of fun. That was a, a little more saffron than a pinch, I think, but um, as Julia says, saffron makes your food taste medicinal. Um, and she says that in a negative connotation. But I'm gonna use that as a positive today. A little pepper as well. Also, this is a good time to add in the white beans. Everything I need right now. Okay, after 40 minutes, the vegetables have softened up nicely. Okay, now add the big bowl of stuff. This needs more salt. So I'm gonna slowly boil that for 15 minutes. Piece two, uh, which is like essentially France's version of pesto like Italian pesto minus the pine nuts. So that's what I gotta make. So the way to do this is a bit confusing. <laughs> it says, okay, prepare the pisto in a soup tureen, like individual soup tureens before you serve it and then you add the soup on top. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make this pisto and then I'm gonna add it into the soup as one whole thing. Firstly, I need four cloves of garlic mashed into a bowl. So when I use the masher like this, all the garlic kind of gets stuck in there. So I'm just gonna level up my garlic with three more tinier cloves, just to make sure that I get all the garlic goodness that I so much desire. Four tablespoons of fresh tomato puree. Just, oh, f please, and everything that is holy, open this can of tomatoes. Come on, come on. the jaws of life. Six tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Four tablespoons of chopped basil, uh, which I should have bought fresh basil. Um, I didn't, so uh, there's an alternative here. One tablespoon of dried basil. Next up, some of the good stuff. Parmesan Reggiano. Quarter cup of this. Now I gotta blend this to a paste with a wooden spoon. I need roughly 118 milliliters of olive oil. She says, this is avocado oil. Drop by drop, beat in the olive oil. That's gotta be enough olive oil. Okay, so let's bring the soup over here for a hot minute. Gradually pour in half a pint of this stuff. Mix that together, a little more. Mix that together. Order up. Cheers. Mm, there hasn't been one bite where I lift a spoon and it's not like everything you want. It's just perfectly proportioned in here, everything. On Seinfeld, they debate like if soup is a meal, like does it constitute as a meal? And in this case, it does. And I can tell you why, it's those three, the three carbs. They got the potatoes, that stale bread, which is brilliant, and the spaghetti. Those three things in there with the pea stew and just the vegetables makes this a perfect bowl of soup. I love this thing, it's 10 out of 10. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. Shout out to my patrons who are supporting the show. You can see their names scrolling by right here. This is Jamie and Julia, bon appetit. Over. I forgot to add one more thing about the soup. I really loved the crunchiness of the beans. That was another highlight. I forgot to mention that. All right, see ya, bye.